Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics, unit six, lesson eight, reasoning about solving equations, part two. Problem number one, here is a hanger. A, write an equation to represent the hanger. Look closely at the left hand side of the hanger. You can see a pattern. You see two plus X five different times. So you can write this as five times two plus X and look at the right hand side of the hanger. It's a bar that says 11. That means that five times two plus X equals 11. B, solve the equation by reasoning about the equation or the hanger. Explain your reasoning. The first step would be divide both sides of the equal sign by five. On the left side, we're left with two plus X and on the right side of the equal sign, we're left with 11 over five or 11 divided by five. And 11 divided by five is 2.2 or two and two tenths. Next, to get the X all by itself, we need to subtract two from both sides of the equal sign. X plus two minus two equals X and 2.2 minus two equals two tenths. So in this case, X equals two tenths. Problem number two, explain how each part of the equation nine equals three times X plus two is represented in the hanger. On the right hand side of the hanger, there are three groups of X plus one plus one, which is the same as X plus two. Nine, nine is represented on the left hand side of the hanger where you have nine groups of one. Three, three is represented by the three groups of X plus two on the right hand side of the hanger. X plus two. Inside each of those groups is an X plus one plus one, which is equal to X plus two. Three times X plus two. That's represented by the three groups of X plus two. And finally, the equal sign. The equal sign is represented by the middle of the hanger. This shows that the left side is balanced or equal to the right side. Problem number three from seventh grade unit four, lesson 11. Select the word from the following list that best describes each situation. A, you deposit money in a savings account and every year the amount of money in the account increases by 2.5%. This situation is describing the word interest. B, for every car sold, a car salesman is paid 6% of the car's price. This situation represents a commission. C, Someone who eats at a restaurant pays an extra 20% of the food price. This extra money is kept by the person who served the food. This situation represents a tip or a gratuity. D. An antique furniture store pays $200 for a chair, adds 50% of that amount, and sells the chair for $300. This situation represents a markup. E. The normal price of a mattress is $600, but it is on sale for 10% off. This situation represents a discount. F. For any item you purchase in Texas, you pay an additional 6.25% of the item's price to the state government. This situation represents tax. Problem number four, from seventh grade unit six, lesson three. Claire drew this diagram to match the equation 2x plus 16 equals 50, but she got the wrong solution as a result of using this diagram. A. What value for x can be found using the diagram? This diagram shows 2 plus x plus 16 equals 50, and x must equal 32 to make this true because 2 plus 32 plus 16 equals 50. B. Show how to fix Claire's diagram to correctly match the equation. Go back and look at the equation at the top of the problem. 2x plus 16 equals 50. 2x means 2 times x. So Claire's diagram needs to have x written 2 times plus 16 equals 50. C. Use the new diagram to find a correct value for x. For the new diagram, the equation is 50 equals 2x plus 16. We can subtract 16 from both sides, and 2x plus 16 minus 16 equals 2x, 
and 50 minus 16 equals 34. Now we know that 2x equals 34. Let's divide both sides by 2. 2x divided by 2 equals 1x, or x, and 34 divided by 2 equals 17. We know that x equals 17. D. Explain the mistake Claire made when she drew her diagram. The mistake that Claire made was she showed 2 plus x instead of 2 times x. This diagram represents 2 times x plus 16 equals 50. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.